what Paul is saying here is don't give up. Though you are going through trials and suffering, though you are experiencing evil in your day and age, don't give up. What is perishable will become imperishable. What is mortal will be immortal. Where death once had the final word on life, life will have the final word on death, and death will be dead, and we will reign forever in eternity with Christ as our rightful King and Lord. In 2 Corinthians 4, verses 16 through 18, that is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our inner strength in the Lord is growing every day. These troubles and sufferings of ours are, after all, quite small. It won't last very long. Yet this short time of distress will result in God's richest blessings upon us forever and ever. So we do not look at what we can see right now, the troubles all around us, but we look forward to the joys in heaven, which we have not yet seen. The troubles will soon be over, but the joys to come will last forever. So as I thought about how can I express this idea, how can I illustrate this idea that Paul is talking about in First and Second Corinthians. I need. Can I get two guys? Anyone? Here you go. You go that way. Then I'm gonna go that way. This rope, guys, represents eternity. And what I want you to understand is the rope goes eternity in that direction, and the rope goes eternity in this direction. Okay, following with me. Now, at some point along the line of eternity, God decided to make creation. And in that creation, man fell into sin. And with that sin became the fallen world that we live in. And in that moment, evil, pain, and suffering existed. But God says that moment is but a brief moment in the line of history. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark right there. And this mark, in the line of history, eternity in both directions, this mark represents all the pain evil, and suffering that will ever exist, ever. See, right now, we live in a day and age that we seem like this, there is no God. And if he is, he's not kind, and he's not just, and he's not loving. But this mark represents all the pain and evil and suffering that will ever exist. Eternity forward, for eternity, we will be in the presence of a loving, kind, and just father. And there'll be no pain, there'll be no tears. All creation will be restored. This is the hope that we have. So when you go through something difficult, when you go through something unexplainable, when you are the victim of incredible tragedy, and there does not yet to seem to be an answer, please remember, this is what awaits you. Eternity with a father who has already solved the problem. And he has already answered the problem. 